This week, the U.S. Marshals teaming up with agencies throughout Metro Detroit. They are targeting violent fugitives on a sweep throughout Wayne County with the mission of making our communities safer this summer. Only on 7, 7 Action News reporter Emery Laflame, the only reporter allowed access to the operation. She spent the day with law enforcement and has an exclusive look in this week's Detroit's Most Wanted. Operation Independence Day. 15 Metro Detroit and federal law enforcement agencies joining forces targeting more than 150 violent fugitives in Wayne County. And these are incredibly effective. Very effective, you know, um, and a lot of these guys have old warrants and we're going to give them the opportunity to clear it up. We were given exclusive access riding along with the marshals in action on this massive fugitive sweep. Well, this is a third address. We developed information from the last two that she moved out. Uh, this is going to be the third address we're going to make. Uh, surveillance is on there right now. They got the vehicle, the target vehicle uh, at the location. And within an hour, this all-star team of law enforcement agents had some of Metro Detroit's most wanted fugitives in cuffs. Well, this ain't going away. Um, we got tons. We got about 70 agents and officers uh, from several different departments. We're out here. We're in the city of Detroit. We're looking for these guys and we're going to find them and lock them up. You're not going to have Detroit as a safe haven committing these crimes. A tip led us here, an area known for gang activity in Inkster. Looked like army camouflage shorts, white t-shirt, and he had some kind of hat on. A violent fugitive spotted. He's running. Running out the back. I got the truck. The suspect with a long, violent rap sheet taking off and barricading himself inside his neighbor's home. Open the door! A canine from the Wayne County Sheriff's Department was brought in. This man, just one of dozens of fugitives captured during the three day sweep. We're going to be out all summer long. This is just one of several operations we're doing. A commitment to keeping violent crime out of Detroit this summer and a warning to violent fugitives who think they can come to Detroit and hide. Their best bet is to go in, self-surrender, because you got the DFAT team out with our partner, DPD, MSP, MDOC. We got several federal agencies out here. Oakland County, we're all partnering together, and we're going to be out in the streets all summer long doing operations like this. Anne-Marie Laflame, 7 Action News.